This HSC writing tutorial was written and developed by Michael Lincoln. It is looking at section 1, question 2. The work samples are using artworks within Wollongong Art Gallery's collection. The focus artists are Eugene Vongerard and Jan Sandbergs. These are some helpful hints when answering section 1 questions. Section 1, question 2. This question is generally worth 8 marks. This may vary depending on the question's demand. That works out to approximately 15 minutes of your time. You should be able to successfully respond to this question in one to one and a half pages. December 1859, one of Australia's most distinguished artists arrived in Illawarra, Eugene von Gerard. Von Gerard arrives in Illawarra and in his little tiny sketchbook, he does a pencil sketch of exactly this image. Eugene von Gerard was the son of an Austrian court painter who specialised in doing miniatures. He was a bit of an adventurer and uh, when he was in Naples, his father tragically died of cholera. And after that, he had to make his own way in the world and became a lithographer. In the 1850s, he heard about the gold rush in Australia. And as an adventurer, he thought, well, it might be a way to supplement his income as an artist. When von Gerard came to Australia, he was not successful um, seeking gold and, uh, and very quickly was able to get lots of commission from uh, very wealthy uh, Western District squatters in Victoria. One of those squatters, um, the Manifold family, commissioned him to come to Illawarra in December 1859, and the product of that journey and that visit to the rainforests of Illawarra are behind us now. It was a, a whole new world for Von Gerard. He had never seen subtropical temperate rainforest. Here we are at the southern boundary of Mr Gordon's property. We're a little bit up the hill where Von Gerard first decided to sit down and take his preliminary sketches to do his masterpiece work of that view of Mount Kembla. As a consequence of his training, particularly in, in working with miniatures, um, he had the skill to do the particularly fine brushwork of Australian flora. He had a special interest in not only uh, the flora of Australia, but its geology. And all through his sketchbooks, there are countless illustrations, just of very ordinary things, the most ordinary looking plants and rocks he would draw in such fine detail. This magnificent oil, one of Von one of Gerard's finest works, was produced in, in the studio back in Melbourne in, the 18, in 1860. Um, it's a little bit different to the sketch. He includes this track going up here in the mountain. It's not in the original. And over here, what we have is the lithograph version of that same oil, but produced in 1867. And what is truly remarkable about the lithograph is that Von Gerard had the opportunity to draw on the stone himself. So this is actually uh, un unusually for a lithograph, and an original work by Von Gerard. It's not after Von Gerard, done by a commissioned lithographer. And the fine detail is even more impressive in a sense than the oil, and matches perfectly the very finely detailed work of the pencil sketch that he began with. As you can also see, suburbia has crept all around us. This was once incredibly lush rainforest. Looking up at that mountain was just a, a continual series of cabbage palms all the way to the, to the top of that peak. As you can see, the landscape is today a very, very different place. That one there, the rainforest one, is one of the great environmental statements of Australia. Like what you have is this pristine rainforest in Illawarra 
it is only just being attacked by the woodman's axe. And I think that's where you see Von Gerard as a truly major artist. He's got this passion for this landscape and actually in that image is quite horrified at the desecration that's, uh, that's happening to it. Von Gerard's landscapes are very different to every other Australian colonial artist. There's a sensibility there that's, that's quite difficult to define. I guess he felt almost a spiritual sense of wonder at, at the, the landscape of Illawarra that was so different to both Victoria and particularly to the Europe he'd, he'd recently come from. Plate 4 is an artwork by Eugene von Gerard. The information provided includes the name of the artist, the years the artist lived, the country he was from, the title of the artwork, the year the artwork was made, the materials used to make the artwork, and the size of the artwork. Now let's look at the question. Refer to plates four and five to answer question two. Describe how Eugene von Gerard and Jan Sandbergs have explored different aspects of their world. These are some extra tips when answering question two. Who is the artist and where is he from? What has the artist made? How was the painting created? Why has von Gerard explored this aspect of his world in the painting? Plate 5 is an artwork by Jan Sandbergs. The information provided includes the name of the artist, the year the artist was born, the title of the artwork, the year the artwork was made, the materials used to make the artwork, and the size of the artwork. Who is the artist and where is he from? What has the artist made? How was the painting created? Why has Senbergs explored these aspects of his world in the painting? Each artist in this slideshow would make a great case study. The links below could be useful on furthering your knowledge on them. We wish you all the best with your studies, Year 12.